we got a lot of guys that can fill up the stat sheets. And uh, today I thought we did a very good job of sharing the ball. And uh, Matt played really well, attacking the glass. And uh, we just stick to the principles that coach gave us, and uh, we executed well. So. Yeah, you guys generated 21 foul shots and kind of got to the rim at will. Do you think that attacking the basket is a key part of this team's philosophy for the year? That's definitely something we've been, um, we've been focusing on in the preseason, uh, getting, to the foul shot, getting to the foul line and getting easy shots. And um, on top of that, rebounding and sharing the ball. And I thought we did a really good job of doing those things tonight. How important was it to get out to a fast start tonight after the Lindenwood game? Uh, that was very important. Um, like we said, every team can be beaten. Uh, you just got to give everybody the respect. And uh, this is a very good Mount St. Mary's team. So we just wanted to uh, come out here and uh, execute. You talk about Andrew's influence on the game. You know, he comes out after uh, not being in the Lindenwood game, has a spectacular first half. Uh, seemed like he was kind of uh, the star straw that stirred the drink, as it were. Right. As you guys know, uh, Andrew's a terrific player. Uh, he, can, he can do it all. He can shoot it really well. And um, he also did a really good job facilitating and getting us into our offense. So uh, Andrew played a key part in uh, getting us out to that lead. Uh, Mount St. Mary's plays pressure defense. How did you guys attack it? Uh, just being strong. Uh, we worked on that uh, this whole week of practice. Uh, attacking the defense. Don't let the defense attack you. And so that's what we try to do it just by uh, attacking the basket and things like that. So. Pick and roll defense was seemingly the theme of the few weeks leading up to this game. I can only really recall one time where there was a real breakdown in that area. Mm -hmm. How do you think the team did on that? And what, if anything, do you think you can improve in that area? Uh, I thought we did a really good job of that. Uh, Coach has really been emphasizing that with the bigs. Uh, Theo and Matt uh, did a really good job of that tonight. You know, they've been working, at it, working hard at it this week. And uh, I think we could just uh, keep building from that because we got a lot of uh, good, great opponents coming up. So we just got to keep working at it and uh, hopefully we'll uh, Keep, keep playing hard like we did today. Got to have something to talk about during the week. And you know they did go on a bit of a run there with about 10 minutes or so left in the yeah. second half. Did Wojo tell you guys, hey, pick your heads up, keep in this game, make sure to finish it strong? Right, that's something we can't happen. Uh, we can't let a habit of, habit of things like that. Because um, you can't let teams get back into it. So just like you just said, just keep playing hard uh, and finish the game out. Because that's something we don't want to get into a habit of doing. So, Carl, looking at the stats, you had seven points but five assists. I think the important part is the five assists. You've completely transformed from a power forward, undersized power forward, to guard. How comfortable do you feel playing guard right now? Uh, I definitely feel really comfortable playing the guard position. Um, I actually like facilitating the ball a lot, uh, getting these guys open. I got a lot of great players around me, uh, some of the best shooters, I think, in the country. So it makes my job easier. Thanks. Anything else for Scar? All right, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.